Like a stubborn case of chlamydia, the Angela Rayner story just won't go away. And I'm itching to tell you more. In what feels like day 377 of this political drama, I fear that we'll still be talking about this in decades to come. We'll still be speculating long after the conclusion of World War III. It will still be a hot topic after the nuclear apocalypse. And when the aliens finally land on planet Earth, even they will be wondering whether Angela Rayner lived on Vicarage Road or Lowndes Road in 2015. Now, many people say that the sum involved, capital gains tax of just over £1,000, is trivial. They are right. Many people say there are bigger problems facing the country, the cost of living, bloated and inefficient public services, sky-high rents, energy bills, debt, crime. They are right. Many say it is a political witch hunt against a prominent left-wing politician, a working-class woman who has worked hard herself and made something of her life. Well, maybe they are right. So why does this matter? Why won't the story go away? Because of the impression, rightly or wrongly, that the woman who would be our next Deputy Prime Minister is hiding something and not being st straight with the public. And this is surely a qualification that's required for high office. Rayner herself has been enthusiastic in her hounding down of public figures like Boris Johnson. She said he couldn't possibly remain Prime Minister whilst under investigation. The story won't go away because Angela Rayner won't kill it. So how could she kill it? Well, she just has to publish the legal advice that she was given, which Labour say confirms she did nothing wrong. But she won't publish. Why? If it exonerates her, why not? And her boss, Sir Keir Starmer, hasn't seen this legal advice. Now, he's a top lawyer and the leader of the opposition. He says he doesn't want to see the advice. He doesn't need to see it. He hasn't seen it. Perhaps Keir Starmer is not a big reader. I'm more than happy for Angela Rayner to send me that legal advice and maybe I can sit down, perhaps at bedtime, and read the legal advice to Sir Keir Starmer over a cup of cocoa. Do you see the problem? Well, the Mail on Sunday definitely do, because they have not let this story go. In recent weeks, they've reported a testimony from a former neighbour called Sylvia Hampson, who will swear on the Bible that Rayner lived at one address, not the other. The paper have trawled through social media posts and reported that Rayner's former top advisor has contradicted his former boss's account. And today, the Mail on Sunday, like a dog with a bone and more Excel bully than Chihuahua, report that the aforementioned ex-neighbour Sylvia Hampson, who has previously called the Labour deputy leader an effing liar about this, has confirmed that she was a legal witness to the sale of Rayner's home. The Mail on Sunday report that Rayner asked Mrs Hampson to sign the document unearthed by the paper for what she claimed was her principal property, even though her neighbour lived a mile away next door to the Labour No. 2's then-husband, where she says she wasn't living. Confused? You should be. Now, the police investigation is ongoing, and we must have due process. Rayner has said she will step down if a crime has been committed. Some of the accusations are hearsay, and they may be politically motivated. Many prominent Tories have gone up to far worse in the past. Angela Rayner has always protested her innocence, explaining that she has legal advice exonerating her. And as far as anyone is concerned, she has acted properly and has no case to answer. Angela Rayner could well be as innocent as a night out with Mary Berry. But until this normally very upfront politician is upfront about the story, the whole story, it's not going to go away. Yes, folks, there are more unanswered questions than Wayne Rooney on Mastermind, which is why this is an unwelcome distraction for Angela Rayner and her boss, Sir Keir Starmer, who has unequivocally backed his deputy. Angela Rayner could so easily kill this story, but she won't. Why? Any alleged wrongdoing is minor, but that's not the point. This is about being straight. It's about honesty. It's about the truth. We need to know which property really was Angela Rayner's home sweet home. But all we've been given is sweet F.A.